Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this, well, quite upper, more upper um, level book. City of Ashes, um, the Mortal Instruments book 2 by Cassandra Clare. And let's get right on to so. This book might be a bit inappropriate for the elementary level, as I, ha as I have just discovered. And but if you read the first book, you just can't stop. And uh, and this is the second book. I will do the first first one very shortly later. And well, it's like so. There is a girl named Clary. Yeah. And in the last book, um, the evil rogue. Um, Shadow Hunter named Valentine. I know, it, like, love Valentine? Are you kidding me? You have to admit, it's not a fee, f um, fitting name for him, but who knows? Cassandra Clare might have just. just had a very slight sense of humor. Because Valentine has no love. He believes that everything, every demonic thing in the realm must be destroyed, permanently disposed of, and killed. That's Valentine's plan, but why? Wow, I mean, that's what Shadow Hunters do, right? They are, after all, the sun, the, the, they have the blood of angels in them. They have the blood of angels and the blood of humans in them, and they were trained to track down demons and slay them. But was Valentine's thing a bad, really bad thing? Definitely not. It is a very bad thing, actually, because he has. He's gonna. He's gonna steal the mortal instruments, which are. Which are the sword <coughs> that you can that is, that has angelic power? The very sword that was used to to chase out Adam and Eve out of God's garden that the angels used. The very sword, the very weapon. It is a marvelous weapon, sir. That's and. Another another mortal instrument is the cup, the cup that can make an ordinary human into a shadow hunter. And well, but Valentine has both, and he will use it to uh, to forsake terrible evil on humanity, because because downworlders, I mean all demonic traces. There are actually innocent people who got a demonic disease and got turned into what people call monsters. <coughs> monsters now. Excuse me. Such as werewolves and vampires and ferraris. The fair folk, also known as the ferraris, are rumored that they are the they are the they are the children of an angel and a devil. And who can argue? They're beautiful as angels. But they're, but they're very, they're, but their personalities very much like the devil himself. And well, an angelic power, right? And soon they find out that Clary, they must defeat Valentine. And Clary soon finds out, and she, and Clary soon finds out that Valentine was her father in the last book. And then Valentine, and also that the Valentine had somehow done something, had made them, had corrupted the two of them. Jace, her, her, his bro her brother, expert, expert demon slayer and shadow hunter. They both of them are the son and daughter of Valentine, and. What are they gonna do? Well, the sword. They no, they have to stop Valentine for sure. But they have something in them, something that they that their the blood of the angels courses through their veins. And this 
Clary, the one on the front cover, can use a uh, stylet to carve runes, but she can make runes more powerful and make runes, make runes, make runes. Like, I mean, anyone, any shadow hunter can carve a rune, right? No, not only that, but she can make runes, create runes for something for a need. For example, you want to breathe underwater, she can make a room for that, and such and such, and it, it's pretty awesome. And could clarity, and also there's some parts of it, um, eh, there's parts of it, SEX and stuff that's only fit for, like, the age of 15 or more. So, I'm warning you, if you read a bit, you can't stay away from it, so... For people who doesn't want to hear cuss words and talks about and like gays and sex and such and such, well, stay away because the plot will drag you along the whole gigantic long series. But um, the some parts are pretty inappropriate, and it's a pretty great book. And like always, book quest and the book quest